Good morning, everybody. My name's Levi Stump, and I'm the manager of livestock production and operations here at Green Acres Foundation. And in today's video, we'll be discussing the utilization of our mobile coop in a pasture rotation. And what we do at Green Acres here is utilize multi-species grazing. Our cattle and sheep create a symbiotic relationship. Our chickens come in as our cleanup crew, if you will. So what we do is graze our cattle and sheep through a field first, and then we come through and set up our poultry netting to help deter any ground predation that may occur while we're grazing out here. And we like to bring them through after cattle and sheep have been here because they're able to scratch through cow pies and break up that fly larva cycle that helps reduce any fly pressure as we move forward uh, with our, our cattle and sheep grazing rotations. When you give them a fresh pasture or recently grazed pasture, one of the first things you'll see them tend to hit is clover. Clover and fresh green growing grasses that are, are photosynthesizing are great for chickens because those forages have what's called beta carotene and that beta carotene helps produce that dark orange, dark yellow yolk um, that suggests has more flavor than what you would find in like a conventional cage-free um, style of uh, poultry farming. Out here in, a, in our mobile coop, our chickens are able to forage all day long. They're out pretty much from dawn till dusk in a cage-free uh, or free range setting, if you will. They just have to have access to pasture upwards of eight hours a day versus these guys can be foraging up until nighttime. The most often question that we receive is, how do you train the chickens to go inside the mobile coop at night? And it's, it's a great question because everything's automated. We're not out here every single night. So it is a training process. And what we do is when we move them from their brooding inside to this mobile coop, we move all of them in here, provide fresh water and feed along with roosting space in their nesting boxes to help kind of stimulate that homey feeling to know that when it's time to roost at nighttime, you go inside the mobile coop. After the first 24 to 48 hours of them being closed in, we'll let them have access to the pasture, but we put fencing around the entire mobile coop to not allow them to go under the mobile coop. This mobile coop was recently purchased from the mobile chicken house. After investigating and looking at all the options, we found that this would be great in this setting here uh, in our Indian Hill location. It's small and compact and lightweight and is also able to hold 300 birds, which is what our old laying house, that was a permanent style laying house, uh, was able to hold 300 birds. But the fortunate side of having this mobile coop is it's not in a set location. We're able to move it around all throughout the property uh, to get these chickens out on pasture year round. And in doing so, we don't have to utilize shavings. We don't have to worry about nesting boxes or mechanical use of cleaning out laying houses to ensure that they have a healthy environment. In this setting, we have an open slatted floor on the bottom so when they're inside roosting at nighttime, anytime that they defecate, it's going straight out into our soils and that nitrogen dense manure is, is great for uh, pasture health. This mobile chicken house is all run off of DC power, which is fantastic. It is, it's all solar power. Uh, therefore, we don't have to pull up to any stationary building to provide electric to this. The nesting box design is fantastic. The reason behind that is anytime our chickens lay eggs, it rolls away from them so they don't have the ability to brood or defecate on the eggs, which provides cleaner eggs for us to take to the farm store and clean uh, to sell to our customers. The way we collect our eggs is a very cool design uh, from the mobile chicken house. And what they did is used a conveyor belt. When we come out here, we can lift up the lid here that has a magnet on it and then use the conveyor belt and crank the shaft to be able to bring them back to us. So we never have to enter the mobile coop to collect the eggs, which is a great feature. The next feature is the automated feeder. Uh, this mobile chicken house has a 750 pound bulk feeder attached to the back, which helps reduce labor costs when it comes to feeding. Uh, our previous methods of feeding chickens was feeding three buckets per day to each laying house. And in this setting, we only have to fill up this bulk bin once a week. On the inside, there's also a 75 gallon water tank, which is very helpful. It has a connection to where we can pull up to any spigot and pasture to fill up. And our chickens here typically go through an entire tank in about a week to a week and a half, depending on the season. 